Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we're going to be changing out the speakers on this Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. It's a crossover, just so you know. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do, plastic panel popper. Go ahead, pop this forward. Make sure you use plastic. If you use anything that's metal, you will probably warp the plastic or notch it, and then you won't like it anymore. Be careful on these corner pieces. I know I'm going a little bit crazy. So, like I said, you just come along here and right along here and just like that let's see probably there one screw right here that we have to remove next one that we also have to do is actually oh sorry it's right in here so stick your panel popper in there just like that and see how it starts to pop oh i just popped it a little forward but yeah once you get it started just pop it out so these are your three screws. So you're gonna take that screw out, that screw out, and that screw out. Next one is this one. Just pop it forward, just like that. And then there's gonna be a blue little clip in there. Let's show you, you need this tool. Works the best. You go down into here with this blue tool, or sorry, to the blue clip. What you wanna do is pop this just away from it a little bit. Once you get down to that blue clip, just like this, then you want to let's see if I can get it on camera there blue clip pops out of there you need something to add that pressure near it otherwise you will break that clip next we need this guy you come down here to the bottom and slide your panel popper in here and start drying just like that once you get your fingers in you can pop out all the way and look at that you always find some hidden stuff in these doors so just like that all right once it's popped all the way you should be able to just literally lift this bad boy out like so once you lift up on it let's show you right here connecting the connectors if you feel around it you should feel a little tab you squeeze it inward on the plug so compress the tab wiggle and it'll come out same with this side compress and wiggle just got to figure out there it is so there's your little tabs like i said compress and compress all right let's go to right here so next thing you got to do is work out this blue guy let's see there it is and we'll look at this so after you pull that out you'll see it lines up so remember blue is on the bottom so now that's popped up go ahead do the same right here and you'll have one and again you just have to line it up with that opening and lift it out there's just that little slit in it that's like right there now go ahead and put this off to the side the only thing different with the driver's door is there's a black connector and just compress it and do the same i'm going to give you all the speaker wire colors afterwards so for the back door we just have to get in again on this ridge probably right about there all right so again just pop like that it's all about getting the tool in there just like that then come down here do the same just like that all right and then just like that should be able to, yep just like that now this one, we have to lift this edge right here. Once you start lifting it, oops, right there. After you pop that one. like that a little more there we go looks like we might have one 
more clip. There we go. From there, compress, pull it out, that screw, and that screw. Just like the front door. Get your fingers in there and just like that. Perfect. After that, grab, lift it off, get those two cables off the handle again. Compress the clip, pull it out, and twist it and pull it out. Pair of tin snips, go ahead if you'd like, cut these. And then another one and cut out all these ridges. You don't need tin snips, you could do it with another set of pliers. Tin snips just have more leverage. So go ahead, cut out all these and cut out this. Just take a knife, go ahead, go along through here, all the way around. Pop that out. Oh, I didn't cut those. I'll cut those after. So just remove this and there, you've got a speaker ring. We're gonna mount a speaker on here. I'll show you how after. So I've gone ahead and solder on some pigtails. As you can see, this is all cleared up now. All we do is drill a hole in the side. That way you can pass your wire through and you just go ahead and sink this through. I like to do this to keep it out away from the window that's actuating. And all you do is pull your tails through like that and you'll have this like that. What we're gonna do is go put this back in the door. Then we're gonna put three screws in and it's gonna go through the metal and then in. You want screws that when you put them just pass through for maybe half an inch. So these are probably about an inch and a half to two inches. I'd have to double check. I want to say that's two inches. So I'd probably use some two inch screws and I'll show you after I mount them in. Literally, I just go, like I said, screw that on, have this and we'll put the speaker wire in after. When you're looking at the clip and you cut these, this one, the one that's on the clip side is your positive wire. And then this one is your negative wire. So before you cut this off, that's how you know. So just in case you have for some reason, white red on driver's side is gonna be your positive. We go to this side, it's going to be our white purple wire. And if we come over here, it's going to be our white purple. And on this side, it is our white red. So it makes sense. All the white blue ones are the negative, it looks like. Bring it over here. All right, so if we're taking a look right here, make sure you put the blue one back in the blue spot. And the little bead just goes right here. And then this will wrap around. And where is the lock in piece? Oh, it's this way. Right there. There you go. Make sure that's fully seated. The yellow one goes up top. Make sure again, you might have to flick the switch to get the bead. And come on. There we go. And then again, this one just squeezes into there. Now we've just got to make sure we get all our connectors in. This one goes in right there. This one should be down here, which I'll do in a sec. Again, you kind of got to just feel for it. Once you get all those connectors seated in, just make sure you put this up on there. It's easier if the window is open, by the way. If it's not, it's not a big deal. And then, Make sure you line the clips up. Don't just start banging this on, because if you just start banging away, you'll break something. Bust all your clips. There we go. And then, just put your screw back in there, screw there, screw there. 
And this piece right here, literally just will pop back in like that. So like I said, slap the screws in. With this one, make sure you put the hook in, squish it in, and this one just squishes in. And that's it, it's back together. This one's the easy one. That's just gonna go back in there, but just like the other one, make sure that you put the uh, yellow one up top. Smurf goes to the bottom. <laughs> and just goes like that so when you're clicking these in just make sure that you put this piece back up there it's kind of got to multitask that one this just comes in right there again line those clips up because if you don't you'll cry and you bust them And then, screw in there, screw in there, and I think that's it for this one, yeah. Just those two, and then sink the first piece back on here before you put the back piece on, and then same like you did in the front, angle and in.